This whole experience as being one of Golf Magazine's most beautiful women in golf has been phenomenal. The crew, everything from start to finish has been incredible. My biggest concern is that when I go home, my husband is not going to get that I'm the diva that I think I am right now, so that could be a potential problem. But other than that, it's been great. The way that I got introduced to golf is because it's the fabric of the being of my family. And it's kind of interesting because when I was growing up, I would hear the sound of metal cleats on concrete, and my dad would scoop me up and he smelled like scotch because he had just played around a golf with his buddies, and we would go out onto the putting green and we would bet for quarters. So it was a really, really special time in my life was growing up playing golf. But the way that I got into the golf business was because I took up yoga and I was completely smitten with it. And because I live in Scottsdale, I was teaching traditional yoga to golfers. And they were getting all these great benefits that I was getting, not only on the golf course, but off the golf course. And then I decided, ah, yoga for golfers. And that was 16 years ago. The benefits that golfers get from practicing yoga, especially yoga for golfers, is everything from flexibility and strength and balance and all the external things that we know from a physical perspective. But I also think one of the greatest gifts is that we teach people how to quiet the mind and get focused and be centered. And I would say the foremost thing that we teach people to is how to trust themselves.